Have a blessed day to all of you people of the world. Continue to join to us in our daily devotional reading as we will read in the book of Psalms chapter 9. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. O enemy, destructions are finished forever. And you have destroyed cities. Even their memory is perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness, and he shall administer judgment for the peoples in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Amen. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. Yes, O oh God. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Amen. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion, declares deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me. You who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praise. In the gates of the daughter of Zion, I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they made. In the net which they hid, their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the works of his own hands. Meditation, Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Amen. Selah. What's up, people of the Lord? Have a blessed day to all of you. Continue to join us in our daily devotional reading in the book of Psalms, chapter 10. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked, in his proud countenance, does not seek God. God is in none of his thoughts. His ways are always prospering. Your judgments are far above out of his sight. As for his enemies, he sneers at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and iniquity. He sits in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws him into his net. So he crouches, he lies low that the helpless may fall by his strength. He has said in his heart, God is forgotten. He hides his face, he will never see. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why do the wicked renounce God? He has said in his heart, you will not require an account. But you have seen, for you observe trouble and grief, to repay it by your hand. The timeless... The helpless commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. 
Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear. To do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may oppress no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you for your comforting word. And thank you once again, Lord God, for strengthening our faith only unto you. And putting all our trust unto you, Lord God, because apart from you we are nothing. Everything comes from you. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day to all of you people of the world. And thank you for tuning in to my social media. Alicia David Miller and Alicia Miller Ministry of YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless everyone.